Today we're going to look at how to use MakeCode in your microbit along with a Chromebook. So for this demonstration, we're going to look at taking a program and then using our save feature and then locating where the file is being saved. Once we locate where the file has been saved at, we'll show you how to go ahead and transfer that file over to your MicroPit so that it can be displayed. So right now we have a very basic program set up here on our, on our Chromebook. Everything on a Chromebook, just like a PC or Mac, is being stored into your browser history. But we do have an option down here to actually save our program. Now on a normal PC or Mac, typically your files are going to be stored in the File Explorer, where we can then go and locate them or transfer them to our desktop or to our Documents folder or a folder that we may have created. On a Chromebook, it's set up a little bit different. Anytime we go ahead and click that Save button, it's going to actually download that program into a Files app that's located on the Chromebook. This can be a little tricky to find at first, but once you find it, it makes it much easier to go ahead and transfer your code. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. All we're going to go ahead and do is save my Pac-Man file. When we save our Pac-Man file, we should get a little message that tells us that it's been saved and that it's downloading it into our download manager. Now you can click over here on the right where it does say show in folder, and that is one way to get there. But most of the time, somebody's going to end up clicking off of that, and then we need to figure out how do we actually get back to it. Or maybe we want to upload a different program at a later time. So in order to find where your files are being stored on a Chromebook, what we're going to do is we're going to go back down here to our little app button or our launcher and click that. Here you'll see that you have a couple different options, and this can change from time to time depending on what you're using the most of. So what I typically do is we're going to hit that little up arrow, and that's going to show us all of our pages that we actually have and all the apps that are stored on the Chromebook. What you want to look for is this Files app. Now, typically to make it easy for us, what we can do is take that Files app and drag it down onto that bottom toolbar. That way we don't have to always go searching for it. It's down there for quick, easy access. But either way, we want to go ahead and take a look at that Files. Once we get into there, you're going to have a couple different options depending on how your Chromebook is set up. Here you can see that we have My Files, you have a Downloads folder, and you have your Google Drive. You can store everything directly or have it set to go right into a specific folder or onto your drive. Most Chromebooks in schools are set up to have it go to your Google Drive if you are a Google school. In this case, we're going to go ahead and look and see where we can actually find it. You can see if I go into my drive, there's a ton of different files in there, and we're not going to see it anywhere because I don't have it set up to go to my Google Drive. We can go ahead and take a look in our download folder, and you'll see right there, there it is. Now the easiest way to find this, especially if it's something you just downloaded, is to just go ahead and click on that Recent tab, and that will bring up all the recent documents that have been downloaded to your Chromebook. Either way, we want to go ahead and make sure we find this actual file, which is labeled microbit.pacman.hex. Now at this point, we have nowhere to really bring this file to because I don't have a microbit set up on this Chromebook. So I'm going to go ahead and take my microbit and plug it into the USB port, and on that left-hand browser, right under Google Drive, we should see once that microbit is actually launched. It will show up just as a normal file like your Google Drive or My Files or your download folders. So this usually takes a few seconds, and once the drivers are installed, you'll see microbit will pop up on the screen. Now your microbit is capable of holding up to one file at a time. So every time you download a file to it, it basically erases the one that was on there previously. All we need to do is to take this file and place it into this microbit folder. So you can see by clicking on the microbit folder, you can see that it has a text file and a .htm file. I'm going to go back to recent, find my file, and all you need to do is to take that file and by left clicking, you can drag this, and we're going to drag it right on top of the microbit. Once we drop it on top of the microbit, it will be installed onto the microbit. The yellow lights will flash, letting you know that the program is being flashed over to it. And then from there, you should be good to go, and your program should be installed correctly.